Hey there, my name is Anup and welcome back in the series of taxation. And in this first part, we are going to understand very basic thing which is called inclusive versus exclusive. There are two major taxation methods that applies in e-commerce or anywhere else because the method, uh, the basic formula is same. Either you are using Magento, OpenCard and any other CMS. So let's quickly understand what is inclusive text. If you apply this particular setting, so you can easily see on the screen the product price if you'll see at the left side and the product price is 1652 and system it automatically uh, assumes that the taxation whatever you have applied let's suppose we have applied 18 percent as gst on this particular product the system it automatically uh, minus the 18 percent and in the invoice whatever you will send to the user will go as a base price of 1400 and the taxation will be differently means whatever user will see uh, as a price you just need to pay a particular rate but it's also depends on your display settings if you'll see at the right side there is an image i just uh, put it a screenshot how it uh, look like on the live website there is a subtotal and there is a shipping if you are not charging any shipping cost i just i have applied the free shipping then there is a gst then it is total the second method is exclusive text. Exclusive text means whatever price you will enter from the backend, from the admin panel, the text will be additional from that. Means you have entered the same amount and you have changed the settings from inclusive to exclusive. The text session will be the additional and user need to pay the additional amount. Now the confusion comes in either we should use inclusive or either we should use exclusive texts. So see, uh, both methods are okay and uh, it doesn't matter uh, either you are using inclusive or exclusive it depends on your practices in internal practices like either you are maintaining the pricing including text or you are maintaining the pricing excluding text the thing that affect to the sales is how you are showing the pricing to the user like uh, there are lots of settings if you are showing the pricing including text and that is the best best practice because if user get the base price of in the in the both example let's suppose you are using exclusive text and user getting the uh, base price of 1652 rupees and when user going to purchase that particular price and it get additional some amount then user you can lose the sale so if you either you are using uh, exclusive or inclusive in that case you have to show the pricing including text so in the next video, we are going to learn how in WooCommerce we can enable, disable the taxes first part because uh, by default taxes are not enabled into the WooCommerce store and how we can manage these settings, the display settings and the inclusion and exclusion settings. So see you in the next video. Bye bye. Thanks for watching.